Long Jean's Future Tennis Aces program is now into its fifth year running. 16 young teenagers from around the world converged in Paris during the French Open to compete in a two-day tournament and Sports World caught up with Singapore's top representative, Ethan Lai. Ethan Lai started playing tennis at the age of two. Nine years on, with his mom and older sister in tow, he moved to Thailand to fully focus on his tennis. His first big test was to compete against some of the world's best under 13-year-olds in Paris. 16 boys were offered an opportunity of a lifetime, two days of training and two days of competition, with a little fun in between. Coach Jerome Goma, a former tennis player, feels this year's standard is high and he thinks Lai has a good chance of doing well. It's not the stronger guys with the physique, but he can he have the shots, so he can do a good tournament. Depends of the draw. Asians are at a disadvantage compared to the bigger boys from Europe, but physical trainer Remy Babaran feels Asians have pace. I think he has for sure these qualities, but you need between 13 and 16, 18 to continue to, to work on these qualities, to be very good, like Nishikori is uh, this year. I think he's ready to play in the top 20. Lai's first round opponent, Italy's Marco Furlanetto. I don't really know him that much, but he plays on my iPhone a lot. <laughs> and I played some doubles with him, and yeah, I think he's really good. Competing on a clay surface for the first time in three years, Lai lost his match 4-1, 5-3. Both teenager and mom were disappointed, but embraced the positives from the Paris trip. Getting this experience from this match play was really good, and even losing was a real, it was a real experience. Um, knowing my standard, and I think I have to work a lot harder now. He did say he didn't feel he performed his best. It could be for many reasons. I mean, it's a big occasion. He's never been on such a big stage. It's first time for him in many ways. So we give that allowance, but he, he has to go back and evaluate with the coaches and, you know, to, and to think through it and see what really went wrong. The two finalists of the tournament would go on to receive a $2,000 annual bursary until they turned 16. Lai missed out on the cash, which is a crucial source of funding for his training. Every little bit helps. Ethan's mother, Vera, has made many sacrifices, including living apart from her husband since the move to Chiang Mai a year ago. I think he's old enough to understand the responsibility because the whole family has sacrificed on his behalf. So we, we have many talks with him and we remind him that, you know, it, it is a responsibility for him to, to, do, to do the best and to be focused and, you know, to take this seriously. It's not a, it's not a holiday for him. Has he at any one time said, I want to give up? No. Uh, and uh, I've always told him too that the day that he wakes up and says, this is not for me. Um, you know, it will be over because we can't. It is, there's so much that's required of them that if they don't want to do this, it's really difficult. Yeah. As it is, it's difficult. You know, even with the passion and with the drive, it's. Yeah. So without that, it's virtually impossible. Turning pro is no walk in the park. Tougher in Asia, where most times academic achievements rank higher than sporting excellence. But the Lai family sees things differently champions aren't made overnight. They remain an unwavering pillar of support behind young Ethan as he continues his quest to one day turn pro.